Hey folks, Wayne Taylor, Honest Home Finder, Fort Mill, South Carolina today. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It feels like the fall or the spring. And it's still, uh, it's not humid yet. Sun's out, nice breeze, beautiful. Anyway, Aniston Chase with Meritage Homes. We are about to go into the Clarkson model. I will be posting a couple of their uh, inventory homes. Um, I know they're not as popular, but we'll take a look. And because of the fence, I'm gonna go ahead and hit pause now and then we'll start up again. All right, hopefully that wasn't too abrupt. Again, the Clarkson. This is the model for Meritage Homes at Aniston Chase. Hope you got a look at the front of the building. We won't be showing a garage. That happens a lot, but I, folks, I never know which one of you have seen one of my videos before or any videos that just understand that. Most builders, when they have model homes, will use that uh, garage as an office. Pedestal sink, half bath up front. I think this is one of those things that I like a little bit better. Gosh, this is beautiful. This is the difference between what I'm gonna show you on the other floor plans that are bare, so to speak. Uh, they're, the, they're the way they sit when you buy them versus falling in love with a model. And I say it all the time, these builders spend a ton of money decking these uh, floor plans out, they're model homes is they want you to fall in love with the product. That's just freaking smart business. Appearance sells, we all know it. Whether we have been taught it in the sales aspect or just in life. I think my dad told me that when he was going to sell his uh, a car, used car. He says it's gotta be bright and shiny the whole time. You know, everything in it's gotta be spotless because some people will say that's what I want. It's a sales office, that's where you would go for the garage. As you can see from all the cords, there is always, well, there's got to be a place in a home nowadays for the electronics to be put in, whether it's the irrigation or the security or, or anything. When you buy your home, you will have your new home wires hanging out of the side of the building for the people to come in and hook up all your tech, all your gear. And I do like showing the models because that's what people want to see and showing them what they could purchase, what it's going to look like. So there's no surprises. If you like I left something out there, I will dub over it if I did. I feel like I was going to make some profound point. Put my college degree to use, right? Lovely big space. This is the biggest one they have. I want to say it's 2,100 square feet, 22. All right. I think we've got downstairs covered. Let's head on up, folks. That's right, folks. Made it up, made it up. That's where my indicator in my brain to point out on the top of your screen. And no, don't touch it. You gotta have to actually type it into your computer or phone or tablet. That's my buyer's incentive. That's where we get some explanation going on. If you have any questions about it, shout out. Because builders aren't doing incentives. And you can't blame them one little bit. If you had somebody lined up, and I say this all the time, at least I have for the last couple of years, lined up to buy your product, why would you incentivize it? It doesn't make any sense. But I'm still doing it. It's my hook. One of the secondary bedrooms. what I do like about having furniture not just uh, everybody likes to watch, um, view the model homes the uh, optical illusion of rooms looking bigger when they have furniture in it I had to have that proven to me and this was years ago I didn't believe it but it's true it is no doubt true And just to prove that I'm not just constantly repeating myself or worried about my videographer skills when I walk into secondary bedrooms and say, oh, it looks smaller. Look it up, Google it. It's a little shared bath here, Jack and Jill. I know what I was going to say. First part downstairs on the video, that Meritage Homes has the policy of What's in the model is 90 something percent what you're going to get when you purchase a home. There's no surprises. 
they're not trying to fool you with what they're doing. Nice big open space. This is a sitting area. That just, that makes the room, doesn't it? I like that. Let me give you one more shot of that. How that looks, see the corner by the door? It's a little extra area. Lock that door. Put some soundproofing material so you don't hear those nasty little kids banging on there. <laughs> mom and daddy time primary bathroom now this you see more often this isn't just marriage I'm not putting uh, tubs in master bathrooms anymore see it all over been seeing it for years I think that predates the pandemic craziness nice big walk-in get you around the door here well you know it's their biggest home and it's their model for a purpose this is a great floor plan i'm liking this belmont's a lot like it just different features are like it doesn't have to kick out the uh, sitting area in the master bedroom but a lot of things are the same including the loft. Anyway, still talking. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you watching. And don't leave money on the table. Ask me about my buyer's incentive. Bye-bye.